Alright, welcome back to Crapton Toad's Treasure Tracker. We are starting episode 3, which is pretty cool. I figured there'd be a mushroom in there. Because these opening levels, sometimes they do that, they hide. Or, I don't even think sometimes, I think all of them do have something hidden in them. Wait, is that it? No. No, oh, let's just move on. So it looks like our hero, Captain Toad, has been flung into some sort of weird... All the checkerboards and stuff looks like a Sonic bonus stage, so... Hopefully he can get out of this nightmare. If you hear eating noises, it's my dog. He's in here, he's eating a, he's eating a little snack. So it's not just like some weird ambient chewing noise going on. He looks more purple than he usually does. So I think episode three probably has the best, I guess, content in the game. I don't know content, but it has the best levels for sure. Alright, so I'm not exactly sure what happened, but uh, everything just froze up there for me, so we're gonna just do this one again and pretend that I'm going into it blind. Well, not blind, because I've already played the game, but you know what I mean. Fresh, I guess? I don't know. Since this stuff is at the end of the game, it is the stuff that I remember a lot more, so... I might be a little bit more knowledgeable in these levels than in previous stages. I was like seeing older enemies from the 2D games come back in like random games, like the Blargs. I don't remember what they first were in, but I think it was Yoshi's Island. That's your bit of Mario trivia for the day. The Blargs came from Yoshi's Island. Mario has too many lava enemies, and like, the Potaboos are literally just... They're just lava. Oh no. Dying in levels is usually pretty bad, but especially when the goal is... I think this one's collect all the coins. But man, if I had a coin for every time I said that, and it ended up not being true, would just go already. Oh, that was a bad angle. All right, so I accidentally picked up the "you're a stupid child, baby" power up, and it still didn't do anything. All right, here we go. Watch this. Hell yeah. That's how you do it. Oh, there's gonna be a blarg coming down through there, so you better watch out. I think I got all the coins, didn't I? I think I got all the everything. And I didn't even take any damage. First try. I wish there was a like a way that Toad would just say, first try! But you know, he's not gonna. Seesaw Sizzle. Is this the one with all the spikes? I think so. Yeah, it's good to hear. Yeah, this is the one with all the spikes. This one's really fun, actually. Not that the other levels haven't been. And I think this one is like, don't get killed. Or no, 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 it's don't kill any of the spikes. This is the one that I was thinking of where you can't kill the spikes. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's really good to have Captain Toad back. He's, he's a good guy. Sweet boy. Of course, that hits me. Yeah, there's a there's a timing, and I feel like it's it's very particular. 
Uh, I remember doing this one, and oh, well, I obviously didn't remember that. Okay then, it's really not the hardest thing in the world, so I don't know why I died. Just give me a mushroom. This is easy, this is just like an Indiana Jones thing. How do I get up to him? Oh, I see. That's easy. Yeah, this is where you essentially just gotta go really quick and hope you don't get hit at all. Oh boy. Alright, time to take... Now I gotta do it again. Because I went too quick and I killed him. Damn it. That's annoying. Alright, let's do it. Be more careful this time. Oh, I did it again! Oh. Ooh, that was a close one. Again, goes back to my years and years of playing Resident Evil. You just gotta dodge him real good. Quickly and... Just safely. Right. Beep block Sky Plaza. Isn't that that, uh, that anime that there's kids are watching? Cowboy Beep Block. Yeah, this is when they get real, real cute with the uh, the levels. Oh, I remember this one because I remember doing the uh, like the bonus stuff in here. So I kind of I I had this leveled like down pat for a time. And I remember that that dude over there is a real, real son of a... Keep going, Toad. I don't need any of those. Now I just have really bad memories of um, Mario 3D World from uh, Champion's Road. More like Champion's Toad. I think I made that joke in that video, too. Which, that's still like one of my favorite videos, that was just a lot of fun to, uh... It was more fun to edit it than it was to film it, and, uh... I think if you stand over here, he can't hit you. Oh no, oh no, I wasn't paying attention to the music! Alright, yeah, I think if you hide in the corner, I don't think he can get you. Yeah, I, I remember that very vividly, trying to do all this over again. One time I remember going right up the ladder and not realizing, like, wait, why did I die there? It's like, maybe because there's nothing up there, you big old doofus. How long have these blocks things, block things, been around for? I feel like I remember them in Galaxy 1, or at least something like them in Galaxy 1. It's only my favorite game of all time, I should remember if this concept was in that game or not. Wow, that completely missed the uh, fire brother. Oh boy. Do, 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 boop. Suck my dinkus. I'm going, I'm going for it. What was the bonus there? Avoid Mr. Flame Mo? didn't take any damage. That's doable. Now that I don't have to get that gem, that's definitely doable. That was pretty fun. I hope you enjoyed the dink, 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 dink in, uh, in fast forward motion. I don't even know what I just said. Pickaxe, clave. I can't speak. I've had a stroke. I've had a series of strokes this entire time. I think there's some hidden. Oh no, this isn't what I thought it was. I thought this was a, uh, one of them there levels when you're in a minecart. Oh, that's not where I was supposed to go. I have to redo this level. Because I think that there's a gem in there that I need to go grab. 
So let's go do it again. I'm getting like bombarded with messages now. So my friend just sent me a picture of a, a poll from like 91 from Twin Peaks. Asking people like who killed Laura Palmer and all the like questions are just completely wrong. Alright, so I may have I, why oh my god. Why did I redo this level? I have to do it again. This is a bad start to this level. But you know, I'm that asshole who I want to get things right the first time. I wanna do as little work as possible the subsequent times. Now I remember I have to go down here. Oh my god, I have to do it again! This is why I'll never find anyone who will love me. Give me that. You bastard. so fast. If there's another block down there I have to break still, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Okay, good. That would have literally been the end of me. No one would have seen or heard from me ever again because I fucking killed myself. I don't know how I would have done it. I guess I just would have stuck my head in a microwave or something. Not a microwave, an oven. I don't think doing that is actually the accomplish anything. Being your head in a microwave? I don't even think the microwave would turn on, would it? Oh, here's another one. Aren't there spooky ghosts in this level? Breaking shit. Wait. Oh! Damn it. You're gonna give me a pickaxe, but I can't use anything. Because I need to get up there. I'm gonna have to redo this one like a bunch. How do I break this? Oh, yeah, I don't. I think if you kill them like that, don't they just come right back? Hey, what, uh... What are you doing over there, buddy? Why are you in the wall? Okay, well, I didn't need that. Once again, this is, uh, footage for the Resident Evil 2 remake. Aren't there more spooky ghosts? I remember there being, like, more of those, like, weird, yeah, goopy mummy guys. I think that's their official name is Goopy Mummy. Goopy Mummy also sounds like the name of a porno. I'm gonna kill you with your friend. Not here. Imagine this. Imagine you were murdered with or by your best friend. Not even with. If I was murdered with my best friend, maybe that would be fine. But with your best friend? Like, your best friend's body was used to murder you. Alright, yeah, I'm just I'm out of here. See ya. That one I gotta redo for sure. What was the bonus? What? Oh, that's easy. I just gotta do the gems first. I had a feeling you were gonna show up. Zombies, huh? I had a feeling you'd show up. Well, there's one of them. I was gonna say that, that would be really mean if they put it on the, the right side. But no, it's just like gold mushroom and some stuff like that. Imagine if I was still glowing blue and like freaking out when I collected the star. It's kind of funny to think about when you when you really look at it. Alright, and this one's really genuinely easy. If they didn't want you to get out of there without breaking rock blocks, they wouldn't have designed it that way. So that one's really, really easy. Now, what are you? You are more coins galore. Did they change the minigame up again? I don't remember. I think Captain Toad has his same minigames, but I guess 
Was this not at night before? I don't even remember. And no, this is different. Yeah, okay, like the thing here is that you gotta find a place to drop down. Ooh, get me down there, please. Fall down the hole. Oh my god, look how much there was down there! I got a taste of it, but I needed it all. Whatever you say. Is there a cutscene here? No? 